Tell them how I'm landing, how you're feeling, how you feeling, how you feeling. Cool, 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 cool. Any gospel music fans in? Gospel music and all that? I love, I was just listening to it. That's my inspiration right there, because, see, I was raised in a Roman Catholic church, so we didn't have gospel music, you know. I'm sorry, no, the music was like, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. <laughs> Amen. 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 What the hell? Golly, I mean, my mother be getting all mad at me, be like, wake up. I'm like, my, even Jesus falling asleep. Like, man, let us rejoice, not let us take a nap. What the hell are you talking about? Shoot. You know, and they're trying to take gospel music to a new level, too. They're trying to have, you know, heavy metal gospel. You know, I love Jesus. I don't want to be scared of him now. You just, you can't be coming at me. Are you ready to pray? <laughs> so are you freaking ready to pray? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. <laughs> Mama, Jesus going to get me. Well, calm that down, you know, have something like reggae gospel. You know, dude come out with a purple velvet robe, little spliff, Ayadon, 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 all the princes of God, all the princes of God, kick it! Oh yeah! Oh Lord! Jesus! My sweet Jesus! Oh, he died. Yes, he died. Come now. <laughs> <laughs> they nailed him. Oh, they nailed him. One to the cross. And this is what he said. And this is what he said. You wanna know what he said? He said, ow, ow, ow. <laughs> These things hurt. Take it away, apostles. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> These things hurt. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Great. Serious, man. Music is taking a chose, man. Everybody's doing music and movies now. You know, like I see Snoop in a lot of movies. Snoop, man. Snoop is doing a lot of movies, it's beautiful. He's playing a pimp, you know, not too much of a stretch, you know. But I saw, I'm serious, but he played a, uh, I saw the movie last night, Bones. Yeah, Bones, he played a pimp ghost. <laughs> a pimp, a high pimp ghost, be afraid of that, you know, the music was going and the chains were rattling, the door creak open, all of a sudden I hear, nigga, boo. Boot for shizzle, my ninja. What the hell? What the? I'm gonna throw some Cheetos at your ass. Shut the hell up. You want someone to be a ghost, have DMX be a ghost. Now that's a ghost right there. You open up the door. What? Mother. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna haunt this house in here. I did that for a white audience and I said, DMX, why is he talking about a bicycle? I don't understand. It doesn't have to do with spirituality. I don't care. That's crazy. That's wild. It's ridiculous, man. Everybody wants to try to make themselves better. You know, everybody trying to make, like, I don't think celebrities are happy. Like, Michael Jackson is not happy. You could pretty much know that. You know, Michael's not happy. And I can't stand all these little cruises. First of all, he was late to his own trial. How you gonna be late to your own trial? Damn, he might not look black, but he got some black tendencies, I'll tell you that much. Just, <laughs> good Lord. And then he go, and then stop with the crusades, Mike. Stop with, you know, I just want to help the children of the world, and you know, and... I want to go to Africa and help the kids of the world. No, don't go to Africa, Mike. You can't go to Africa looking like that, man. They're going to think it's another invasion or something like that. You know, he's so messed up, the Ethiopian kids be looking at Mike going, help him. <laughs> no, 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 forget me, help him. <laughs> <laughs> take my fly, take my fly. Ah. Nah. <laughs> no one, no one's not happy with themselves anymore. You know, 
And ladies, let me tell you something, ladies, man. I mean, they talk about these breast implants and everything. I don't mind because like, I'm from Hollywood, man. I see that you know fake titties every day, you know. But the thing about it, if you're gonna get breast implants, fine. But make sure they fit your body. You know, I'm serious. Don't be like you know 85 pounds and your titties be 250 pounds and you coming out the hospital. Thank you. <laughs> These are fine. No, not only that, I'm just gonna kick them to the car. I'm just gonna kick them to the car. These are good. Oh my goodness. Woo! Get me a car. What the? I'm serious. And dudes don't like real big. I mean, we. I mean, guys, I'm a breast dude, but you know, you want something that fits your mouth. You see, you don't want to suck titties in section. <laughs> Mm, I'm lying, I'm lying. Can we do this tomorrow? I just, I can't feel my neck. I can't feel my neck. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. Oh, well, my father taught me that. Man. You got to work at things, though. I come from a Haitian West Indian family. My father taught me to work. That's all he kept saying to me. You have to work till you die. <laughs> I mean, work till you die. And before they die, make me come up so I can dig my own grave. Work till you die. I don't care. You know, my father didn't like certain things. My father was one of those people that were like, he's that macho Haitian dude, you know. He can understand homosexuality. He was like, what is this gay? What is this gay? <laughs> what is this gay? Well, if you're happy, fine, but shit, what is this gay? <laughs> I mean, the first time he saw two guys kissing, he lost his mind. Oh, stop the car, stop the car. Excuse me, sir. You know you are kissing another man, sir? <laughs> to police! <laughs> police, huh? You don't see this? I was five years old. He goes, if you ever kiss me another man like that, I kill you. <laughs> I pluck your eyes. Don't even kiss me because I whip out your tongue. Don't play. <laughs> My daddy didn't play. My daddy was the type of person, I remember he didn't like Halloween because he didn't work for Halloween. Halloween, he was like, what is this tweet or tweet? What is that tweet or tweet? If you want candy, ask me, don't tweak me. What is this? <laughs> you know, tweak me. Work for your candy. Why are you dressed up? I know who you are. <laughs> you live right next door. Get the hell off my porch. Go. You're not Batman, you're Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> then I try going trick or treating. My father lost his mind. Uh oh, uh oh. Now you want to tweak or tweet too? That's why I come into this country for you to tweak or tweet. That's why I swim all those miles. Just swim. On the back of your mother, but I still swim. For you to tweak or tweet. Come here, I give you costume. No, no, come here, come here, I'll give you costume. Come here, come here. What did you have for? Oh, that's your costume. What am I supposed to be? A raccoon. Now get the hell out of my face, okay? He also loved boxing. That was my favorite. I love boxing. Because boxing is the, man, you got to have that mentality in boxing. I like Hispanic fighters. Hispanic fighters are the best fighters to watch because they're not there to impress. They're there to fight. They're just happy to meet in this country and fight. You know, I like the ones that can't speak English. Those are my favorite ones. I don't like the Oscar de la Hoyas of the world, you know. Oscar, I'm sorry. Well, what happened? Well, you know, I tried to be a fighter and, um, I tried to be a fighter and I tried my jab and I tried my jab. What the hell? Come on. Like Michael Jackson with gloves on. What the hell are you doing there? I like the ones, the Hispanic fighters, the ones that can't speak English, those are the best. They're just ready to fight. They announce even ask them, are you ready to fight? I ready to fight! <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you going to do? Ha <laughs> ha! I got to kill him! I'm living with that loca, ha ha! That's my man right there. Um, but the worst part about it is when he loses the fight. And he got to give some boxing analysis, you know. He don't know but two words of English. And he now always comes up and messes up his name. Uh, Jesus. Can you come for a second? <laughs> Jesus, you lost the fight badly. Uh, can you describe what happened? <laughs> what well, he better go. Oh, he better go. 
I didn't know he was that cool. <laughs> I mean, I tried to hit him, but he bing, 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 as a holy. And then he, and then he told these, these yams, these yams. I don't know what the yams are, but he me la cabeza, la cabeza, la cabeza, so holy. <laughs> and, and they said, throw a pause. I told a pause, but he dug. I said, oh shit, I'm in trouble. Because all I got is one pause. Him in the body, boom. Woo! I can't even breathe. I said, holy. My colon fell out of my culo. I said, look at that right there. I don't even know how to fight. They take medication to say, hey, you want to fight? I said, fuck it, okay, you know. I'm just living the American dream. <laughs> Can't get too politically correct, though, man. You know, people get a little too, too uptight. Now, the nigger, the, the word nigger is now the N-word. That's what it is, it's N-word. And white people get more offended at this word than black people do sometimes. Because I can understand. I can understand, you know, sometimes you overuse the word. I, I've done it myself. You use it like in a sentence, like, you know, nigger, 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 You know, and me and my brother were talking like this in a restaurant, white dude lost, he's like, ENOUGH! <laughs> I've had enough of that. What world are you living in? Huh? And I'm like, damn, what's wrong with this nigga here? What's wrong with him? Thank you very much, enjoy the rest of your night, thank you.